Can you believe where I am again? Another vlog, another day in Brighton. Not all my vlogs will be in Brighton, I promise. And uh, after the last uh, couple of vlogs have been Brighton football and then Brighton going to see Royal Blood, I promise you the next one will not be in Brighton. But as you can probably tell, um, I'm off to work at the Grand Hotel on the seafront. So um, we'll get down there and I'll explain what's going on today. So this behind me is the Grand Hotel Brighton, isn't it looking lovely? That's called refurbishment, they've got that going on for quite a while. On the corner there, that is the Salt Rooms, that's a lovely little uh, restaurant if you're ever down in Brighton for, for, for something to eat. Up there is the i360, it's currently down at the moment, it'll be up in a minute. Over there is the pier that burnt down all those years ago, but today I'm in the Grand, it's raining, it's wet, it's cold, let's get inside. So today at the Brighton Grand is a, a bit of a change from all the Christmas do's that I've been doing. I thought I'd put a vlog up because um, since I did the last Brighton vlog at the football and then I went to Royal Blood in Brighton as well again, um, I've picked up 170 new followers on YouTube, which is great. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like the videos. Uh, I hope you're football fans or sport fans or music fans or even travel fans, um, but thank you. Uh, I'm here today just to apologize really for no vlog since then, but I'm a working performer, so the last couple of weeks has been Christmas party mad. Um, this is actually what I've been up to uh, in the last literally 10 days. Soho Hotel London, karaoke, my size baby. Fox Hills Golf Club in Ottershaw. London. <laughs> this is the works Fulham. One in Bankman, London. <laughs> this is Supernova on the embankment in London. Massive one. This is St George's Hill Tennis Club in Weybridge. Christmas do. My little table of goodies is all set up there. A quieter one tonight than all the mad Christmas do's. This is the Park International Hotel in Gloucester Road. Um, this was actually the Thai ambassador's birthday party. And I'm now off to... And this is Victoria House in Holborn. And this is uh, Daniel. And literally in a few hours tomorrow, we are gonna be... And then here we are at the Heart and Garter in Windsor. Windsor. Here we are. And this is carriages. This is this year's tree. So this is carriages. I'm only here for a quick drinks reception and then uh, I need to run off to probably a louder event. Let's see. So as you can see, there's no rest for the wicked. So I'm here today for Chris Nash, the ex-Sussex cricket player. This is a really weird one for sports fans, right? So Chris Nash is a Sussex player. He's been with them since he was eight, nine, ten years old, and he's having his testimonial year this year. But he's just moved to play for Nottinghamshire. Um, but being a Nottinghamshire player, he's back here in Brighton today in Sussex to have his testimonial dinner. Now, what other sport would that happen? Would Wayne Rooney have a testimonial for Man United, uh, move to Everton, have his testimonial, but then go back to Man United for the dinners? I don't think that would happen in any other sport. So it just shows you what a lovely guy Chris is. Well, I'm here today at the Grand. So um, here's a quick montage of what has gone on today.
So that's it, the dinner's finished now. Um, lots of money raised through the auction and raffles and ticket prices for the Rockin' Horse Foundation charity, local charity. Now, if you watch my vlogs and you watch the charity, charity, charity vlog, which is a few months back, uh, one of my final events that I did for that charity was for the Rockin' Horse. I was on stage uh, at the Brighton Royal Theatre um, and you'll see that on a previous vlog. It is actually nice today to be have a break from the Christmas parties, but tomorrow I'm back on it, two tomorrow, uh, two the next day, two the next day, and then one on Saturday night. But for now, I'm gonna make a little trip back. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry I've not vlogged since my Brighton Raw Blood and the Brighton Football, um, but thanks for all the views. The Brighton Football vlog is my highest ever viewed video, 25,000 views as of today, which is pretty cool for a, a, um, a vlog. So for now, my next vlog, if you're a Crystal Palace fan, football-wise, will be Arsenal Crystal Palace. It's a midweek game after Christmas, I can get to that game. So Arsenal Palace will be the next football vlog. Apart from that, I may put one up at Christmas, but for now, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks to all the new viewers. See you for now. Thank you.